traders welcome to this short training video how to overlay another time frame indicator in nt8 now with this particular uh, video it doesn't matter what type of chart you use i love renko and i love tick charts you can apply this concept to tick charts uh, to range to volume to renko it doesn't really matter now when might you use this so let's just say in my particular case where i trade using an entry chart and two higher time frames two anchor charts so you might have an indicator on one of your anchor charts that's very important in making your trading decisions or your entry decisions uh, on your entry chart or general trading chart or perhaps it's a trend directional indicator on a higher time frame you like to review you might say only have one or two screens and rather than having multiple windows open it just allows you to perhaps track uh, an indicator from a higher time frame on the one chart. So here in this particular case, I've got the 6E, the currency futures market. I love scalping the two tick Renko, it works brilliantly. And in this case, I've got down here, I've got a, uh, a short term stochastic from a higher time frame. So I've got two stochastics and my MACD. So let me show you how to set this up. Now in this case, uh, I've got a two tick Aussie dollar, the currency futures. And once again, you can apply it not only to any type of uh, chart setting or any type of time frame, but any market naturally. So let's right click, go to data series up here under select. I wanna go to 6A. Uh, why don't we just use this default period? It defaulted to 4.2. Now this particular case, I need to make sure the trading hours matches the trading hours I have on my standard uh, trading chart, which is there, I've got a default 24 seven. I love trading pivots, pivot bounces and pivot magnet trades just work an absolute treat. And so I wanna make sure that I do match uh, and have on the 24 seven, I find that works best. And down here, it's important that you then with your candle body outline you make that transparent we the candle wick needs to also be transparent uh, same with the color on the bars that needs to be transparent let's do that for both transparent then when we come down here uh, under panel i need to make this panel three further down i've then got scale justification that then needs to be overlay. So that is now overlay. We then go, okay, let's put in, whoops, and I've actually, oh, there you can see here, I've actually, I've actually got an error there. This is something I haven't hidden. So this is good. Let's go back uh, to the data series, go back to this and oh, here it is here. There we go. So I didn't make that transparent. So we go up here, that's now transparent, click okay. So you can see how that's actually important that you do that. Now, let's uh, go and select an indicator. So I'll go to indicators. In this case, let's just put on uh, the uh, an RSI. Now in this case, I've already got this preset to a two period. I think it was Larry Connors that made the two period uh, RSI quite famous for a scalping oversold, overbought territory type setting. And it does work very well. So um, let's just use this in this particular example. Now, here's what we've now got to do. Under input, input series, I click on there, edit, I then go to that higher time frame input. I go, okay. I now go down to panel and I'm going to uh, put this down here as a new panel. I'm then going to their just scale justification. I then go down here and I make that overlay. And I now go, okay. And so what we can now see is I've got four panels. I've got my main uh, screen here. And let me just adjust these. So we've got this down here and here. So what I can see down the bottom here, I've got my uh, uh, RSI, the two period RSI. And you can see how it picks some of these turning points 
really well. So that coincides with what, so that's telling me what is happening on my four tick. So if I was to then go to a four tick, we would see these exact turning points uh, at that stage. Now, for members that are watching this, uh, the day trade uh, fast track members, where this can be useful, you might choose to put on your long-term and short-term stochastic from a higher time frame. So for an example, the long-term stochastic, which is a fantastic trend directional indicator, you can be tracking, yes, the fanning of the EMAs on your entry chart, but also tracking on the one screen what's happening on say your anchor chart one or anchor chart two. We can also use this uh, quite well is then, let's just go back here, uh, let me just go back here, is when we have these key uh, turning points. And the same applies of course with the RSI, you can use the percent R, any set of indicator there. When we get into the oversold, over bought areas or potential turning points, okay? now. I've got, I've actually prepared a, just a very short, where is it here, PowerPoint, just a couple of screenshots to make it easy. Uh, and I'll actually upload these into the members area in the NT8 indicator folder. I'll upload this PowerPoint along with the uh, link to this recording and I'll actually call it here, how to overlay another time frame indicator in NT8 to so be able to find that. Now, I know on TradeStation, you can do a similar thing and there are other trading platforms uh, uh, that you can overlay a higher time frame indicator. So traders, I hope you found this helpful.